Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Right, just got away, it's a Sunday, I've just got back from Lidl's, it's the last day of the Olympics, I've been watching that almost non-stop last couple of weeks, thoroughly enjoyed it. Unusually on a Sunday, I usually go on a Thursday, but I had to go this Sunday because these were Sunday items. And I bought two items, a handheld vacuum, the subject of this review, and a... Uh, same make Silvercrest shaver which will be coming up in a forthcoming probably my next review so to begin with this one now i've had little tiny handheld vacuums like this before for sort of like not massively powerful i don't want it massively powerful but for just cleaning your keyboard cleaning any dust off your desktop in front of you when you can't be bothered getting your big either upright out or the cordless one i reviewed many many months ago that i used for doing the carpet and that in here so something like this is absolutely ideal so i saw in the leaflet that were they were on uh, this this uh, sunday I went to my local, well I say local, I have two Lidl's, both about the same distance from me. One in a little town called Cleveley's, one in a town called Poulter the Fylde. The Cleveley's one is the usual one to go to, it's the smaller one, but when it comes to gizmos they don't have as much. So I went to them this morning, they had the shaver in, but they didn't have this. So I went to Poulton, again none on display, I had to ask one of the guys in the corridors, which are quite rare in uh, in Lidl's they're not like Morrison's where they're all over the place um and he went into the stores now and he found one but so they've got them in the stores but they hadn't put them on display and it's a today's delivery it's not old stock or anything so uh, I don't know what it is about Lidl sometimes they, they don't always put everything they've got out anyway waffling again by the by this is what it is it's a rechargeable mini vacuum cleaner and you can also put comes with a couple of attachments to blow up for like blowing up beach balls air beds stuff like that how long it take to blow up an air bed i don't know i've nothing inflatable so i'll show it you just blowing stuff across the, the desktop or something like that so first of all let's have a look what's in the box obviously i've already unboxed it because i've been giving it a try to, to, to see what it's like so you get that one that's one of the blower adapters to go in uh, your inflatable you get a little tool that goes in the end and you may have one of these on your, your full size right you can pull that back to just make there or push the brushes over the top to make it brushed usb-c and it is usb-c by normal usb lead for charging doesn't come with a charger if you're like me you've got loads of spare chargers for your phone or whatever any usb charger will do and you get a very narrow blowing nozzle as well and of course the main unit now this is how it came with, with the I mean, it was on top of that bag it was all sealed up the box had you know the, the sticker over it and everything but it wasn't in that bag that was a separate just piece put underneath i don't i don't know why so that's so unusual i've left the wrapping on it here so i'll take that off now and there's also over the front there there's your usual protective film bear with me i know a lot of people find pleasure in doing this got your film on there so that's it it's as you can see very compact when it's folded up it swings out like that i'm going to show you the specs in a minute i'll hold up the instruction book okay so i'll quickly show you the instruction book um sorry if it's a bit noisy at the moment not sure how i'm expecting it all but i've got the ac running in the background 
it's 30 degrees in here. I just have to put it on. I'm almost melting. So I'll just freeze these frames so you, you can see and skim through it if you don't want to see it. But as the usual Lidl's instructions, they're pretty good. They're not Chinese translations with loads of mistakes usually. So it shows you that there. And you can open the book and still look at all the other stuff. Um, I won't show you every trade. I'll just show you that technical data there. And the rest of it, as always, is just um, safety cleaning and stuff like that. Do not wash the product with water. It's not waterproof obviously uh, but that's the unit so like i say you can slide that round that's the handle you put your nozzle in there if you need it you can use it you know for picking up biggish bits without that or push that on to there and then you say so you can slide the brush in or out when you're blowing up an inflatable Swing that out of the way. That goes in the outlet there, and then that will go in your inflatable. Again, I'll, I'll show you that. Just blowing me, me skin or whatever. You've got your power on button there. And two quite bright, show you in a minute with the lights out, LEDs on the front. If you just press it quickly, the LEDs come on. So you could use it without. If, and if you hold it in for three seconds... That turns the thing on. If you decide you want the LEDs on with the thing running, you've got to put them on first, then hold it down and they stay on. And then press it for more than one second to turn the vac off, and again to turn your LEDs off. Once it's sucked its stuff up through here, it collects it in this little thing it is just dry by the way on my till receipt it says wet and dry vac let's have a look on that one that's the shaver one everybody can see that at the top there hang on uh yeah there in the middle handheld wet and dry well it's not it, oh and the price is there 19.99 i've got to tell you price 20 quid it's not wet and dry. It is just for dry stuff. So it's just that on the receipt. It doesn't claim it anywhere in the book or on the packaging. It is just a dry one. Don't start sucking stuff up with it. It's not for that. You know, the, the water will get in the motor and that'll be it. So the collection tray. Oops, turn the lights on then. The collection tray. In fact, I'll just show you what it's like with the lights. How, how strong the, uh, the lights are. I've got the... Uh, the light all the lights in the room out now but you can still and the blind is down that it's so bright outside it's still coming through a bit but you'll see here if i shine it behind me you know it's quite I don't know it's, it's quite a bright light shine it on the floor so yeah, brighter than most, brighter than sort of like the LEDs on your drills and things. And it is, it is two of them. So yeah, reasonably uh, bright lights. And the dust collection thing, to take that off, you just twist it, just like a light bulb, but a bayonet fit in there. Take it off. And this is one thing you've got to watch. When I first did it, I'll show you what it is. You can take this filter out it's a HEPA filter and HEPA stands for high efficiency particulate and then it varies on the site you go on air or absorption so I've had like high efficiency particular absorption high efficiency particular particulate air basically it's it traps tiny bits of uh, dust now that is just what I've got now I'll just tip this out I'll show you properly later it picking bits up but you've got to be very careful like I say when you put this back should have cleaned that first 
when you put it back, put it back, whoops, after you've thoroughly cleaned it. And you can wash this, but uh, put it back. Make sure it's fully dry before you put it back. When you're putting it in, just push it gently in like that. Make sure it's in line. You can tell through the screen. It's hard to show you, but make sure it's going sort of level in. And look at it. And there's like a, a ridge there. You can see it, that ridge. It just goes up against there. I made the mistake at first of, of just putting it in. I pushed it quite far down. And I got it past that ridge, and it was an absolute little pig to get out. I had to cut a piece of dowel, put it down there, and tap it out because it got jammed. So just be careful. Like I say, you only need to put it in very gently, just up against that ridge. Or you can even put it, put the filter on the top there, and then just put it down, and it holds it in the right place. So either of them. And also, I'll show you this with it in and out. You're not supposed to take it out, but inside there, you will see there's a rubber flap. If I push it from this end with my finger, you can see my finger coming through underneath. Now, that is quite a thick rubber. I was expecting a much narrower membrane. Obviously, what it's for is to stop stuff falling out that you've just sucked up so when the fan comes on the motor comes on it sucks that out of the way enabling you to suck the bits up but when you turn it off it sort of moves back into position and it stops any stuff coming out without that everything you'd just hoover it up would just come pouring out but it is quite a thick thing and it doesn't move that much i don't know whether you can see it on the camera but uh, yeah i'll get the camera in manual focus okay i think you should be able to see that now as i turn it on You might just see in the open at the bottom hole. There, that little orifice there. When I turn the fat, the thing off, you saw it closed. I'm going to turn it on. Open. Close. So I thought that little orifice, it isn't much. It doesn't fully open. I wonder if that's going to block some of the suction but as you'll see shortly when i do the demo it doesn't seem to it still seems just as powerful with it or without what it does do is stop any sort of like big bits going through so this is just some like a current out of some muesli which i've been using i'll, I'll show you in a minute and uh, that rubber flap doesn't open wide enough to let an object that big through so if you did want to suck some big bits up like that you could easily take that flap out. It just pings off two little hooks and uh, and then that'll give you the full orifice. But most of the time you'll be sucking tiny, uh, you know, things like, you know, grain of rice size things up. So put that back. And like I said, there's a little tab on there Oops. for you to grab. Just there making it easy to get out so I'll just put that in keeping it straight like i said just up to that ridge that's enough you don't have to put it any further than that click it on and uh, away. it'll go on either way you can have that at the top that bit or you can have it there that would be your normal normal position that's the info on the badge so i'm going to show you the demo in a minute i'm going to clear my desktop and uh, show you sucking some things up from in front of me but before that let's have a quick look on amazon uh, to what, what you can get on amazon for around about the same price and some of the uh, the specs of them 
Okay, so here it is on uh, Amazon, or here's some equivalent ones on Amazon. You've got this sort of shape. I've had these before, but they're quite sort of like bulky, really. Uh, there's this sort of like hairdryer type shape. That, again, quite a bulky one and a, and a lot more, probably more powerful, but I didn't want anything that big. I've, I've, I've got one that big, and I never ever use it. Um... I'm just trying to pick something maybe equivalent. That one there, and it's only fourteen ninety nine. Same sort of power, six thousand. This is five and a half, I think. But there's no outlet blowing outlet on that. Um, I did see one before. Yeah, that one there. So again, look, you get loads of uh, attachments and things. I'm not sure of the. 9,000 PA, so according to that, it's a lot more uh, powerful. So, yeah, a vast uh, variety, as always, there on Amazon. But uh, the thing I like about this is it's compact size, ideal for sort of like traveling. If you did want to use it traveling, I'm not going to worry. But with that swinging out of the way for traveling, uh, it's a bit less powersome than some of them, as you saw some... Uh, as the same with this 5.5 what it, kilopascals or whatever, and uh, somewhere like up to 8,000. I sometimes take these readings of these absolute no name brands with a pinch of salt. Um, I know, sort of like these are usually pretty genuine in their claims. Again, you can get a more a bigger capacity battery, but that just give you more bulk and weight. And I think, sort of like. 15 to 20 minutes per charge is ample it's all you need so uh and the main thing of course with anything from little silvercrest three year warranty full three year warranty so i'm going to clear in front of me now and uh, put some various things on and show you it uh sucking them up and i'll show you it uh blowing as well so uh, let's get into that now Okay, so hopefully you'll still hear me when I'm recording, but what I've done, there's some, unfortunately I've no rice, that would be ideal. The only rice I have is um, microwavable in the bag rice, I don't want to uh, split one of them apart. So I've just put some, this is gra granola, this is muesli, and I've taken all the big bits out of both so hopefully it should suck most of these up it'll have no trouble on the the oats bit so this is with the rubber flap still in it you can see still see there the rubber flap and again i'll turn it on and hopefully weird camera angle this but you should yeah, you can't actually see it open but i can show it's open so i've not got this tool in for this so I'll, I'll, I'll use that for for this and then uh, but on this one I'll do this so I'll turn the light off we don't need that so I'll just hold it in for two or three seconds and you can see it sucked all them in but they have got trapped on the big bits on that rubber flap because it is so such a narrow orifice through. So obviously the bigger bits will just come out now. Like I say, if I just did it on, so I'll show you what I mean. So yeah, I've separated them into two piles now, just the oats of fire. So we'll try it now. All of them have gone down the flap. Like if we try it with the brush on, we go here. Again, the small items. You know, they have all gone down inside. There's nothing there. Nothing down there. So, 
what I'm going to do now, I'll just show you how easy it is. So you take that out to empty it. I'll, I'll just empty the, the rubbish here at the bottom. Take the filter out. Empty your, your rubbish there. If you want to take that rubber flap out, like I say, just... There's no mention in the book for doing this, but... So there's your, the rubber flap out. It just goes on two tabs there. Put the filter back in. And this time we've got, like I said, a full orifice with no rubber flap. And hopefully it should pick up these bigger bits. So as you see, it picked them up, but having no flap there, if I pour it, this if I held it that way, they would fall out. So if you're picking big bits up, keep it vertical, and uh, when you empty it, and then you'll be all right. But uh, if I do that now, see they are just going to come out because there's no this rubber flap isn't to stop them. So. Uh, I'll show you now on something a bit more realistic, just doing some dust on an old keyboard. Uh, I've had this keyboard stuck in a corner for ages. It's accumulated loads of dust. Uh, I haven't cleaned it off. It looks horrible. Well, not too bad, but uh, I've left it on for this demo. And let's see it. Uh, I'm going to put this back. Let's see it sucking some dust off a keyboard. So really, really old keyboard, as you can see. don't know how well you'll be picking the dust up but it's fairly dusty so i'll use the brush for this and i'll just go around Right, as you can see, it ran out then because I haven't charged it from new. So uh, I'm going to put it on charge and be right back. So yeah, as you saw there, I hadn't charged it from brand new uh, out of the box and it only had one light on. I didn't show you the charging lights. Excuse the mic, that's the position it's in for when I'm doing the overhead shots. So it's going to stay there for now. So you plug the USB lead in there between where the two LEDs are. there and you can see there there are three they look different colors to you there but they're not they're just all white and when it's charging there's just one steady one and two because it's down to that one I'll turn it on see it's only showing two because i've just had it on charge but it it had got down to one so once they're all three steady, and it says it takes about an hour to fully charge. So I'm going to time it. It is now, where are we? 2.43. And we'll see how long it takes to charge up from when it shuts off. So uh, we'll be back with the, uh, with the demo soon. Okay, it's an hour later now. Uh, I misread the instructions. It's uh, three hours to fully charge it from dud, which, as you heard, it, it did go dud. As you can see... Two lights are steady now, and the final one is flashing. And it's just after an hour, an hour and a couple of minutes since it was done. So I'm going to carry on the demo now. I'll replug that in after, but it's going to take another hour and a half, two hours to fully charge it. So we just left it out, just getting the dust off this keyboard. I'm going to put some more on because it's not that visible. So I'm just going to put some talc on. Now, I know it's not realistic having talc on your keyboard but I uh, can't think of anything else to simulate dust so uh, 
as you'll see soon, I'll put it on the uh, desk view. Right, I'll just put this talc on now. Let's see if I'm getting it off. As you see, I've got the brush on. So. And it's quite good because the, the brushes, bristles, are quite long and they go right between the keys. Obviously, you'd just give it a wipe with a damp cloth or whatever, a bit of polish after, but you can see it's certainly got all the, uh, all the talc off. I'll just show you sort of the power of the, of the suck on it. Okay, so I'm going to see if it'll pick this up. Now, this is quite a weighty sort of a coaster. It's made of porcelain or some sort of pottery. I'll show you how heavy it is. It's 130 grams, which is 4.5 ounces. So, you know, it's like I said, that's a fair old weight and if we just use just the normal end on it the rubber flap is in there it's still in there i've not taken that out and if we turn it on see it did pick it up Try it that way, it's a bit hard trying to get it on that glossy top. But that's better. So yeah, quite uh, quite strong that. So yeah, uh, I think it's a uh, quite uh, quite good. Uh, I've had loads of things like this that run off a couple of double A's or whatever. And uh, they've been so weak, they just wouldn't suck anything. But, uh, yeah, as you saw, it sucked uh, them up okay. So let's have a look at it now on uh, Blow with the adapters in. Now, I've got this. I did a review on this. If you check up here, full review on how good these are. The link, by the way, doesn't... I'm going to remove the link, actually, because I just checked it. And this particular model isn't on... Um, what's it anymore on amazon but i've had this about five years now and it's immensely powerful so i'm going to do the same thing on my cheek with this but uh, see how powerful this is so yeah a uh, good jeremy clocks and uh, impression there you can see how the power of that but even this Oh, nothing like that. That's great for blowing all the dust out of your uh, computers and things. But you, you'll see on this. Now, I won't do my lips, but you can see how it's denting my skin there. Around there and the other nozzle. And like I said, they just go in the opposite end, in the outlet. So you'd obviously use this with the handle that way around. And again, the thin one. More precise, but there actually feels to be more coming out of this. So I'll just switch the camera down now and I'll, I'll just show you blowing a couple of things across the desktop just to show you the power right so we've got some of that muesli or whatever there on. even from there you know all that way this bit of cardboard really 
making that leap up and down. I need me, uh, me glasses. So yeah, reasonably uh, powerful blow as well. Like I said, how long to fill a beach ball, yeah, or a small inflatable toy or something. An airbed, it'd probably take forever. You wouldn't use it on that. But uh, So yeah, so them two nozzles for blowing. Handle that way, obviously, because it's going to be a bit awkward doing that. You've got the charge thing in the like that sorry wrong one plug that in there like that and you can see with two well nearly one I've just used a bit but that second one will go steady in a bit but it's going to take another couple of hours maybe to fully charge it um, I think I've gone over everything twist that off so that comes out when you put it in comes out easily i would leave that rubber flap on unless you're wanting to suck up large bits but i don't think you will it's going to be dust inside your car i'm not going to film it in my car because it's just going to be, look the same as that keyboard um but in between your louvers on your heater outlets with the um the built-in brush that looks like that's your built-in brush or you can slide it that way and just have a, a narrower sucker upper so uh, basically that is it for uh, 20 quid and like i said a good thing is as always i know i'm a, a sticky record the uh three-year warranty from Lidl's on all their uh, silver crest stuff and their parkside tools if it breaks down within a year you can take it back to the store show them your receipt You'll get a refund or a replacement if they're in stock. If it's between the year and the three years, you've got to ring the number in the book and they'll sort it out, as they did with me with a, a small hand drill at, at two years, ten months old. They replaced it, no questions asked. So a great warranty and, uh, yeah, quite a good buy. So uh, hopefully, if you've liked this, you'll give me a thumbs up and it'd be absolutely fantastic if you sub could subscribe. Click the little picture here of the shed to subscribe. Then click the bell icon below and you'll be informed of any new uploads. Like I said, I'm pretty sure of nothing else in the pipeline other than this. So even though I've done a review of another version of this just, just under three years ago, I'll explain why I've just bought this in that review. And uh, hopefully you'll catch me for that as well. So thanks again for watching this. Bye for now.